Hello, my name is Jacquelini and I'm going to present the work Teaching Derivatives Concepts with Job Computational Techniques. Hello, my name is Jacquelini and I'm going to present the work Teaching Derivatives Concepts with Computational Techniques that was developed by me with the professors Deborah Farago Jardim from UFVJM and Ana Carolina Carius from EFRJ, and also the Prof. Math student Adaias Correia da Silva. The outline of this presentation is going to be as follows. On the introduction, I'm going to talk about the UFVJM history and the motivation for this work. Second, I'm going to present the research methodology and the classroom activities with GeoGebra and the didactic engineering research intervention. By the end, I'm going to talk about the results obtained with the didactic intervention, discuss them, and also to present some references. The Federal University of Jequitinhonha and Mucuri Valleys, as known in UFVJM, was created in 2005. Uh, its deployment in such valleys they represented the spreading of the public higher education in that region of the states of Minas Gerais. This made the dream of most young people to continue their academic education become true. UFVJM articulates educational, cultural and scientific process with teaching and research and enables the transforming relationship between the university and the society, contributing them to the socio-economic and cultural development of the region. The activities, the classroom activities, started in the, with the teacher teaching derivatives, definitions, concepts and theorems. The teacher also presented a lot of exercises to help the students to practice the derivative tools. After that moment, the students went to the computational, computational laboratory with the GISIC group coordinated by Deborah Farago Jardim and they produced together a lot of small models practicing, practicing the concepts learned with the teacher. At this time, the, the teacher, teacher was not with them anymore. But after the didactic intervention with the Jazzy group, the students they came back to the classroom so finally the teacher could evaluate their learning ship. The activities with GeoGebra and the Jazzy group at the, the laboratory, the computational laboratory, were given to two Calculus 1 classes called STBA uh, with 59 students and STBB with 58 students. And um, after around 25 hours of teaching training using theoretical concepts and exploring definitions, theorems and differentiability techniques by the teacher, the research group, the research group Jazz proposed a two hour working shop on the on the stage of GeoGebra to explore the derivatives concepts that the teacher has taught in a classroom. Along this small workshop or this small mini course, the Jazzy also helped the student to finish and to understand some exercises proposed by the teacher that they couldn't do by themselves. To explore the discussion about the teaching and learning process, we all then we focus on two special examples that follows and that were addressed in the classroom by the teacher and later by Jazz during the small workshop in a cooperative learning environment. We had a lot of examples and we are going to show only two. The, the first example shows the behavior of a fourth degree polynomial function along the domain exploring their maximum and minimum points. And um, the second example presents the launching of a projectile in three different situations. 
the activity presented at Figury was proposed with the goal of showing the students the importance to learn how to find the maximum and minimum points of the polynomial function. To find the maximum and minimum points, they needed to use the tool, the two functions inspector, and then the function and range. Once we use the string value theorem, which the final result is presented on the figure. This example had an interesting discussion because at this time there were still a lot of students with a great difficulty to construct and understand elementary functions graphics. So after a discussion of around 30 minutes, the learning was reached when the students were able to find the maximum and minimum points of the function, uh, polynomial function, and also to conclude the reason why the derivative is zero in these points, which led them to better understand the Fermat's theorem for stationary points. The second example shows that the tangent lines represents the velocity behavior of a vertical component and uh, observing this figure, it's possible to make the student to build a knowledge bridge connecting the mathematical equations learned at physics classes on high school with a simple use of deriva derivation concept. This launching projectile model it's also very important because connects it connects the maximum and minimum points concepts with the maximum and minimum height and also presents the instant velocity concepts in each point inside the dominion fun function so in this picture we have the tangent line with derivative positive here we have the tangent line with derivative zero and here we have the tangent line with derivative negative so the student with uh, the help of GeoGebra tools they build an example of uh, how the projectile uh, moves along the time so the goal, the main goal, was to make the students understand the natural phenomena of launching the project, a uh, projectile using derivative concepts as an application to solve it. This animation line variation was produced by one of them. So it was very clear that the student experienced the different fundamental elements of a science education facts, abstractions, and comparing facts with abstractions. Uh, it is important to say that this is a crucial experience to develop the mathematical modeling thinking. So in the third stage of this research, the students came back to the classroom and then the teacher could evaluate their learning ship. And it was ve very clear that in the science and technology class A, only 10, 10 students did not attend to the test and uh, only 9 students had a grade less than 60. And uh, on the science and technology class B, only 6 students did not attend the test and only 7 uh, had a grade less than 60%. So more in the, in the science and technology class A around 60, 60, 16 students, they had a grade, a better grade, and then a science and technology class B, 15 students had a, a, a great grade. So the, the learning ship improvement, it was very, very clear noticed when we tried to observe these grades. So the final result um, shows us that the GeoGebra software plus uh, didactic engineering and well-planned activities 
uh, it's equal to a very better conceptual knowledge for the students and also a better interaction between the students and the teacher, helping them to build their knowledge. The students, uh, they were able to develop the ability to find the responses by themselves using definitions and theorems and also by the use of technology using the GeoGebra software. They were able to, uh, well, the, the, teacher, the teacher could achieve their goals and it's essential to search an appropriate methodology for the teaching of mathematics. And it's crucial also to find an efficient validation method so the research reaches a positive result considering the teaching goal. Um, and the observer the researcher noted that the important points recorded the most relevant information and discussion with Jazzy group immediately after the discussion, after the conclusion, I mean. There were a very careful analysis since the number of participating students was quite large. Uh, as a teacher strategy and a goal to promote a cooperative environment all in between the students, the jazz group worked with the students without the presence of the teacher. And in the future, we will insert the teacher in a negotiation environment and evaluate his presence in the student's thinking, considering his influence as a negotiator of knowledge that can lead the students to their conclusions. Uh, this is important because these students in particular prefer to work with the presence of the teacher in the workshop given that they feel more secure about their mathematical thinking conclusions. These are our references and we would like and we would like to say thanks to FVJM and Jazzy to help us providing the computing laboratory and the GeoGebra activities the Institute Federal of the Rio de Janeiro for the collaboration, and also FAPEMIG for the financial support. Thank you very much.